And so the first very simple lesson, and I trust an encouraging lesson for every one of us this evening, is that the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is planting good seed in this world today. Very simply, Jesus Christ is saving in this world today. Because why you may note that in verse 24 we read in the parable, in the illustration, that the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed once and for all good seed in his field. Yet whenever Jesus Christ explains it in verse 37, he says, he that soweth. Here's a little help. Whenever you see E-T-E-H at the end of a verb in the authorised version, it's the idea of continue. The Son of Man, it is he that is sowing continually the good seed. Sowing continually. Making it forth that people are born again of the Spirit of God. And that they are continually being born in this world today. Jesus Christ is saving in this world today. Jesus Christ is taking people who are dead. People in whom there is no spiritual life. People who have absolutely zero fruit before God. No love for God. No joy in God. Jesus Christ is taking people who have no life. People who are dead in their sins. And through the gospel. Jesus Christ is making the dead to live. Jesus Christ is making people new creatures. Jesus Christ is sowing children of the kingdom. Jesus Christ is sowing good seed in this world today. And if you're saved this evening and you're a child of God, let this encourage you. Let this strengthen you in your service for God. Because while you and I can think of times in the past, times in where God has poured out his blessing in a tremendous way, and many people have been saved, and you and I could look and say, well, we're not in those days. Well, let me encourage you. We read the Son of Man is sowing good seed in this world today. The Son of Man is still saving in this world today. He's still making the dead to live. Jesus Christ is still working today. Don't give up preaching Christ. Don't give up praying for the lost. Jesus Christ is still saving souls today.